continual faith shall remove all debts from a person's life and cause surplus to be present. Continual faith shall free prisoners from prison houses. Continual faith shall save the whole house. Continual faith shall save the entire family. Hallelujah. If you maintain your faith believing and faith speaking of the word, then you shall always possess whatever the word has said. If you maintain your faith believing and faith speaking of the word, then you shall always possess whatever the word has said. Let me prove what I said with the word of God. Mark chapter 5 verse 22 through 24. And we also read verses 35 through 43. It says, And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lied at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him. Hallelujah. Now we'll read. Uh, we're going to read verse 35 through 43, but my statement is continual faith shall bring life back into a dead person. Hallelujah. I'm proving that with the word of God. Hallelujah. If you continue in the faith, you will always have what God's word has said. Hallelujah. If you continue in the faith, which means you continue to believe what God said about you, you continue to say what God said about you, no matter how you feel, no, how, no matter how things look, if it look like things have gotten worse, that doesn't matter because uh, God's word will always produce exactly what God said. All you got to do is believe it and say it, and you'll see the salvation of God. Now we have read that Jairus asked Jesus to come lay his hands on his daughter because his daughter was at the point of death, and he said if Jesus would lay hands on her, she would be healed and she would live. Now we're going to read at verse uh, 35 to 43 to see what happens. And it says, while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, thy daughter is dead. Now a messenger came from Jairus' house and said to Jairus, thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? Verse 36, And as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Jesus said unto Jairus, Be not afraid, only believe. Hallelujah. Only believe. And in verse 37 it says, And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he come into the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and see the tumult, and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleeping. You see, Jairus' daughter had died. Jesus said the damsel is not dead. And when Jesus said that the damsel was not dead, she was no longer dead. That means she, hallelujah, was alive again. That's how powerful the word of God is. And Jesus said she was sleeping. Verse uh, 40 says, And they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha Kumai, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say unto thee, Arise. And straightway the damsel arose and walked. For she was of the age of 12 years, and they were astonished with great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded that something should be given her to eat. My statement, which I proved with the word of God, I said, Continual faith shall raise the dead, or shall bring life back into a dead person. Hallelujah. Continual faith shall bring life back into a dead person. Continual faith shall cause a diseased body to be healthy. Continual faith shall possess the promised land. Continual faith shall remove debts from a person's life and cause surplus to be present. Continual
continue faith, continue faith shall possess the promised land. You know, Joshua and Caleb were the only two people that were in the generation that God had brought out from uh, Egypt that entered into the promised land. Because, see, they believed God. Hallelujah. You see, but the other people, they doubted the word of God. But Joshua and Caleb continued in the faith, and they uh, were able to go into the promised land. But those other people died in the wilderness. You know about the account. Hallelujah. He's talking about continue in the faith is the message today. Matthew chapter 15. Hallelujah. Uh, Matthew chapter 15 verse 22 through 28. Praise the Lord. Brought you some good news today. Uh, Matthew chapter 15 verse 22 through 28. My message today is continue in the faith. If you continue in the faith, you shall always see what your faith had accepted to be true and what your faith is saying is true, which is God's word. God say you heal. It doesn't matter if the doctor report said that this disease has spread throughout your body. Things are, have really gotten worse and, and there's no hope for you. That, and if the report is that you will die, the word of God will bring health and healing into your body as long as you continue in the faith. Believe that word only, say that word only, and your body will experience, hallelujah, a transformation. Health will be in your body and no disease. Uh, continue in the faith is the message today. Verse uh, 22 says of Matthew chapter 15, And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, cried unto Jesus, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Her daughter was not in her right mind. She was mentally sick. She was being uh, tormented by an evil spirit. It says in verse 23, But Jesus asked her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered, Jesus answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat. That word meat means fit, proper, or uh, suitable. It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. See, she received the help of her daughter. Her daughter was sick. She received her daughter's help by continuing in the faith. Hallelujah. She continued in the faith and received the miracle for her. Daughter, hallelujah. My message today is continue in the faith. Hallelujah. Because God's word shall not pass away. Other things pass away, but God's word shall never pass away. Hallelujah. God's word causes bad things, hallelujah, to pass away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's good news. And uh, all you have to do is believe the word and say what the word says. Hallelujah. Continue to believe because you must walk in love. Hallelujah. Forgive people if they've wronged you. And you continue to believe that word and speak that word and what that word says shall always appear in your life. Hallelujah. All you got to do is continue in the faith and you will always have what the word has said to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, Mark chapter 10, uh, beginning at uh, verse 46. Mark chapter 10, hallelujah, brought you some good news today. And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, uh, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him, saying, he should hold his peace. But he cried the boy a great deal. This man continued in, in the faith. They tried to get him to 
to cease operating in faith.